Oh, hey guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on what is on my iPhone. So I have Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Michael's because everybody needs a 40% off coupon, Pinterest, and that's all I can fit on my phone because it's only an 8 gig. That was a short video. <laughs> hey guys, so let's do this for real. Um, so I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPad because it's 32 gigs so it actually can hold a couple things. So this is what my kids play with. So I have the Fisher Price. shapes and colors and right now my son plays with this one and it's basically just there's a piano and then there's another one that's like a touch and then there is I think I just turned the sound off so like it's shapes and colors and when you go like this it makes music but I have turned off the sound so that's not good let's try again okay so yeah. So yeah. So ooh, so it's really good if your kids just want to touch. The only thing that I don't like about it, but this is just because it's the iPad, is that my son tends to always have a hand on. So he'll go like this and nothing happens because he's already touching it. So it's hard for him to just go like that you know what I mean but once in a while he gets a shape <laughs> he's getting a little old for it now but he still you know he still thinks that it's like his app so next thing I have is something called Puzzingo and this um, you have to buy I mean it's free and they do have sections that are free but you know if you want the full benefits of it you can you want to buy unlock everything but they do have a daily preview which if you do just do the daily preview you basically get get a piece of the game every day so I mean what's the point and then there's like little games where you have to like drive a car and there's puzzles it's almost like a uh oh <laughs> it's like one of those um, board puzzles you know but on the thing, <laughs> on the phone, on the iPad. So there's the shape and then you just put what it is and then they say the word. So, but there's a lot more to it and it's really fun and I actually really love this app and we have had this app for a really long time and I don't plan on taking it off anytime soon, which is cool. So the next one I have is called ABC Alphabet. And this app is basically like a big chalkboard and they have uppercase and lowercase letters and the child just traces they just trace the word or the letter so they learn their letters they learn uppercase and lowercase and hopefully how to write them like my daughter's been doing this for a long time but she doesn't actually I mean when she first started it she understood the concept but she didn't know that she was drawing an A. She didn't know it was like the alphabet. She just knew that she had to connect the dots. So that's still cool even you know before they're ready. And then picture book for toddlers. I actually purchased this app. It wasn't very expensive but it has different categories and it just has pictures of everything like this is vehicles and then if you click on it, it makes the noise and then there's guess the item and then they say you know where's the this and then you have to, they have to guess where's the tractor so even before my daughter could fully talk she was actually getting this which I was really shocked because I remember one time I was in the other room and she was just sitting playing with her phone my phone she was just sitting and playing with my phone and I heard her getting them right over and over and over again and I was like is that her and I looked and I'm like oh my god she is so much smarter than I give her credit for you know what I mean <laughs> uh, anyways 
And then there is Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head is just basically a digital Mr. Potato Head. So you can imagine it has a potato head and then all the parts and then you just make your potato head and how many times have I said potato head now? And um, and then there's different backdrops and you can take screenshots and it's really, really cute. So my daughter just likes to play with it. And not much th thinking is required because it's like a potato head. You can put the mouse on the head or you can put the mouth on top of their head and put the ears in their mouth or you know what I mean it doesn't matter and then I have MP weather I'm showing you my setup <laughs> MP weather is as a weather teaching app which is really cool to teach your kids all the different types of weather and what you wear for each weather so like the little I don't even know what that is um, you go up here and you click what you want okay let's say it's gonna get snowy and then you go over and you can get his winter coat and put it on and you can put up a snowman or an igloo so basically it's just an app that like you you know kind of do it with your kids so that you can talk about things and you know, explain to them why they have to wear a winter coat when there's snow on the ground and you know, stuff like that. So I really like this app, it's really cute. It doesn't have a ton to it, this is pretty much it, and then you just change the seasons and that's it. But I think it's still pretty neat. And then I have Wordplay, but I don't, I didn't purchase this one, but I know this one's a really good one, and I think that if you, because they have like a, a bunch of them in different you know sections of the curriculum and it's like 60 bucks if you buy the whole entire bundle so they give you a very very small sample but it definitely isn't enough to I guess not they, they want you to buy it basically is what I'm saying so I don't really I didn't actually look into that one so I don't really know what it's about but I know that they're good that's all I know because <laughs> I think um, What's her name? The the little the little couple. They use that for their their son. So she mentioned it on on TV on TLC. So this one is what was this one called? Preschool all something. I don't know what it says. Twenty two learn. I'm pretty sure there's twenty two apps. I think that's what it's about. This is basically just learning patterns and learning like puzzles and can, yeah, so there's a, a pattern of toys and then you have to put the pattern, you know, what's what comes at the end of that pattern to make it a pattern, even though that's not really a pattern because it's the same thing five times, but, and then yeah, there's the matching of the toy to the corresponding shadow. And yeah, that's all I have right now kids apps so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time bye guys you know you're a mom when you're recording a video on a trampoline <laughs>